my name is Sophie Sorrell, and my talk tonight is uh, mainly about the solution to people blocking your real concerts with their iPads. So smartphones, tablets, everybody has one. Some people have several and some people have just way too many. They keep getting better. They're getting slimmer, they're getting faster. The screen is getting brighter with higher definition. But we're getting to the limit of this specific technology. Now imagine you could take this tablet and you could roll it in your pocket or drop it, sit on it, run it over with your car and nothing would happen to it. I believe this is where we're headed with the next generation of flexible displays. Now some people have made flexible displays already. Some people have even made flexible and transparent displays. But they still rely on hard and opaque circuitry to function. The goal of my PhD is to make not only the screen flexible and transparent, but the entire device. Now imagine what we could do with this smart paper. We could put it in your glasses and pretty much make smartphones out of it, and you'd be connected at all times. Or we could also make some biosensors that would blend into people's skin, or some solar cells that would be integrated into windows or people's clothes. So we really just want to make a computer transparent and flexible. What's inside a computer is a circuit. The circuit is made of parts. Each part has a specific function. We need to make each part transparent and flexible for the whole device to be. So we need something that conducts electricity, like a metal, like gold, and make it so thin that you can see light going through it. This is a 30 nanometer layer of gold. This is a thousand times smaller than a strand of hair, and it is still not thin enough to see the picture behind it clearly. So instead, we started working with silver nanowires. Silver nanowires are just wires made of silver, but they are only 30 nanometers thick and 10,000 nanometers long. If you put those nanowires in a network and attach a circuit to it, you can actually find a conducting path from one side of the circuit that closes it. The other advantage of those networks of silver nanowires is that there's holes in them, and the light just simply goes through them. So now you have this piece of uh, device that is conductive, and we're gonna try and make parts of circuit from it. Now, for example, we're gonna use resistors. Resistors resist current, it just slows it down. It turns out networks of silver nanowires behave like a resistor. And if you change the diameter and the length of the silver nanowires, you just get a whole range of resistances. And the other advantage of this is it's, it is so transparent, I actually had to outline it because you couldn't see it. Another piece of circuitry I can make, for example, is a capacitor. Capacitors store energy and they release it all of a sudden, like in camera flashes or defibrillators. They're simply made of two of these layers of uh, nanowire networks with something insulating in the middle. If you change the insulator thickness and the nanowire density, uh, you get a whole range of different capacitors which are completely transparent and very flexible. Now if you take all these bits and pieces and put them together, someday we will be able to go to a concert and not see it through somebody else's iPhone. Thank you very much.